What's new and exciting in cancer treatment? How can some of the poorest people in the world benefit? And what has this got to do with the medicines patent pool? Over the next few minutes, I'm going to be talking to you about advances in immunotherapy medicines and how access to this incredible class of treatment can be made available to people living in low and middle income countries through the incredible work of one of my favorite NGOs in the world, the Medicines Patent Pool, or MPP for short. Hi, my name is Greg Martin. I'm a medical doctor working in Dublin, Ireland. I used to work as the head of science and research at the World Cancer Research Fund. And so I've got a particular interest in how cutting edge technology can be used to provide treatment and care for some of the poorest people in the world affected by cancer. By 2040, the World Health Organization estimates that 70% of all cancer deaths will occur in low and middle income countries, or LMICs for short. But cancer treatment has made huge advances in recent years, and one of the areas of this advancement is in immunotherapy medicines. Today I want to talk to you about an example of immunotherapy called immune checkpoint inhibitors, or ICIs for short, and how the medicines patent pool could make ICIs affordable in low and middle income countries. So how do ICIs work? The human immune system is designed to protect us from harmful elements that make us ill, including cancer cells. However, some cancer cells fight back and they deploy immune checkpoint proteins, which turn off the immune system protection. This is where immunotherapy comes in. Immune checkpoint inhibitors, ICIs, prevent the immune checkpoint proteins from turning off the immune system allowing the immune cells to do their work and kill the cancer cells. ICIs have led to increased survival, are often better tolerated than traditional chemotherapies, and show promise in treating cancers that have otherwise been difficult to treat, such as melanoma, lung cancer, cervical cancer, and some breast cancers. And more and more immunotherapies are being developed, and more and more cancers are becoming treatable. This means that many more people will be able to live longer, regardless of their country. Now the challenge for poorer countries is of course cost. Immunotherapies are expensive, more so than chemotherapy. But all is not lost. High quality biosimilar versions can be made that could help significantly reduce the cost. But it's still the case that governments in low and middle income countries often cannot afford to pay for the medicines and technologies that their citizens need. And here's where the medicines patent pool comes in. MPP exists to help ensure that people living in low and middle income countries have much greater access to all sorts of innovative and life-saving medicines and technologies by helping radically reduce their costs for governments and others. They do this by negotiating licenses with innovative pharmaceutical companies to allow generic manufacturers to produce these medicines before the patents have expired. This is called voluntary licensing. And this in turn means that governments in low and middle income countries can then afford to buy them. Sounds too good to be true? Not at all. The Medicines Patent Pool has an outstanding record of success in helping to reduce the costs of essential medicines in low and middle income countries. Since 2012, MPP licenses have enabled more than 43 billion doses of treatments to be supplied. Overall, and again this is since 2012, MPP licenses have saved low and middle income countries a total of 1.9 billion US dollars. The medicines patent pool also facilitates technology transfer, which is the process of sharing knowledge, skills and scientific and technological developments between governments, organizations and manufacturers to ensure that products and technologies are available to those who need them most. The medicines patent pool can play a critical role in both voluntary licensing and technology transfer and so help to ensure that biosimilars can be developed earlier and save even more lives. And we know that voluntary licensing has been shown to increase patient reach and diversity by four times. The medicines patent pool approach will mean more affordable and available treatment for cancer. And this means that low and middle income countries can make these immunotherapies available to some of the poorest populations in the world for the first time. And over time, more and more people will gain access to these innovative and life-saving treatments. Thank you for watching and please do give the Medicines Patent Pool a follow on the following platforms.